Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It's time for College English 1. This is Unit 5, Movies and Music. Everybody likes movies and music, so you'll love this unit. Let's begin. Today's plan is to talk about vocabulary and then grammar. Next will be reading. Finally, we'll mention the quiz and then I'll say goodbye to you. All right, here we go. First is vocabulary. Remember, All right, number one, cinema. Cinema. A cinema is a place where movies are shown to the public on a big screen. For example, let's go to the cinema this weekend to watch the latest blockbuster. Number two, soundtrack. Soundtrack. A soundtrack is the music that accompanies a movie or film. For example, the soundtrack of that movie was so beautiful, it added depth to the story. Number three, genre. Genre. A genre is a style or type of music, art or movie. For example, I enjoy various music genres, from classical to hip-hop. Number four, screenplay. Screenplay. So, a screenplay is the written script of a movie or play. For example, the screenplay of the movie was brilliantly written, making it a must watch. All right, number five, performance. Performance. A performance is a show by actors or artists. For example, the performance was a magical experience. The artists gave their best. Number six, director. Director. A director is the person who makes a movie or program. For example, the director of this film is known for his unique storytelling style. All right, number seven, production. Production. Production is the making of a movie or show. For example, the production of the movie involved a talented cast and crew. Number eight, audience. Audience. The audience is people who watch a show or movie. For example, the audience gave a big hand to the talented performer. Number nine, screening. Screening. 
A screening is a showing of a movie to people. For example, the screening of the documentary will take place at the film festival. All right, last one, number 10, lyrics. Lyrics. The lyrics are the words in a song. For example, I love the song and often sing along because of its beautiful lyrics. Okay, everybody, let's move on to grammar. Get your books ready. Follow along with your book. All of this is in your book and it will all be on the quiz. All right, guys, so today we're going to study some, we call these wish questions. The wish questions are words that you can add to a yes or no question to make it into a more detailed question. So these are the words we need to concentrate on today. What is what? So we can look here. What do you want to do after graduation? 너는 졸업하고 나서 뭘 하고 싶니? 무엇을 하고 싶니? Okay, what? Okay, we've got which, which is 어떤, okay? Which do you prefer, soccer or baseball? Okay, 어떤 거 소, 선호하니? 축구, 야구. We've got who. Who means 누구, right? Who is your favorite actor? Okay, this one's a little interesting because because who can be the subject? Who는 그, 그 문장의 주어가 될수 있어요. So, 누가? 음, 네 제, 제일 좋아하는 어, 배우냐? Okay. All right. We've got where, which is 어디, 어디. Where do you want to go this summer? Okay, 이번 여름에 어디로 가고 싶니? Where do you want to go? We've got when, 언제. And we can also say what time, 몇 시에. Okay, so when does Maria arrive at the airport? Okay, Maria는 몇 시, 어, 언제 도착하니 공항에서? Or what time? 몇 시에 도착하니? 되게 비슷하죠? Okay, finally we've got why, 왜. Okay, why are they upset? 그들은 왜 기분이 나빠? All right, cool beans guys. Let's practice these a little bit. Okay, so here are the same words again. Okay, and so the thing to remember about these is that 이거 대답할 때는 yes, no, 그거 안 돼요. Okay, 자세한 대답을, 대답을 원하는 질문이에요. So, what do you want to do after graduation? 졸업하고 나서 뭘 하고 싶니? Okay, I want to get a job. Okay, or which do you prefer, soccer or baseball? Okay, 이거 어떻게 대답하실 거예요? 한번 해보세요. Mm -hmm. I prefer soccer or I prefer baseball. 다 맞죠? Okay, here we go. Who is your favorite actor? 이것도 대답해 보세요. Mm -hmm. My favorite actor is Tom Cruise. Okay, 그런 식으로 대답하면 돼요. Where do you want to go this summer? 여름에 어디 가고 싶니? I want to go to Italy. Or I want to go to Jeju-do. All right, here we go. Let's try what time. What time? Does Maria arrive at the airport? Did I people say, oh? 
she arrives at three o'clock, nine o'clock. Okay. And finally, why are they upset? 한번 대답해 보세요. Okay, we're gonna say because. Okay, because I was late. Because the food was not delicious. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna eat you. Okay, cool beans, guys. So here's a few more. Okay. 이거 똑같이 쓸수 있는데 다른 다른 의미예요. How often? 얼마나 자주? How often do you go to the library? 너는 도서관 얼마나 자주 가는 거야? Alright. How long? Okay. How long can be? Uh, 얼마나 긴냐고? Okay. It can be with 시간 or 거리도 되고. So for example, how long does the movie last? Or just, how long is the movie? Okay. 이 영화 얼마나 기니? Okay. It's two hours long. Okay. How much or how many? 우리 나중에 셀수 있는, 셀수 없는 단어 배울 건데 이거 얼마나 많냐고 하는 거예요. Okay. How much does this cost? How many pencils do you have? 이 가격은 얼마예요? 연필 몇개 있어요? All right, guys. Cool. So there are some question words. Give it a quick checkup. Okay. 여기 그 swish swish words 맞는 거 여기 주의해 보세요. 삼십초. Ready, set, go. Alright guys, here are the answers. Sorry, the format changed a little bit. Number one, where do you come from? 어디서 오니? 어디서 왔니? Okay. Number two, what is Mark's hobby? Mark의 취미는 뭐냐고? Number three, how long is the river Nile? 그 나일강 얼마나 긴냐고? Number four, why are they tired? 그들은 왜 피곤하니? Number five, what time or when do you go to bed? 너는 어, 몇 시에 자러 가는 거야? Okay. Number six, when or why did you phone her? So 그냥 원하는 의미에 따라 다를 수도 있어요. 너는 어, 그, 그녀를 언제 전화했어? Or where did you go? To the go. What did you do last night? 너는 어젯밤 뭐 했니? Number eight. How do you go to school? Okay. 너는 학교 어떻게 가는 거니? 뭘뭘 타고 오니? Okay. Number nine. Who was your roommate? 너의 roommate는 누구였어? All right, guys. You got it. So there you go. Study these for the quiz, okay? Now let's move on to reading. Here we go. So, 1분 동안 혼자서 조용히 읽어보면서 이해해 보시고 그 다음에는 같이 읽어볼게요. All right, ready, set, go.
Okay, guys, let's read it together. Okay, 제가 한 문장 읽어 보고 그 다음에 꼭 따라 해 보세요. All right, here we go. Music and movies have a profound influence on younger generations. They shape perspectives, emotions, and behaviors. Positive educational content can inspire creativity, compassion, and critical thinking. Conversely, negative or violent themes can induce harmful thoughts and attitudes. Music's melody and lyrics can also sway moods and beliefs. A constant exposure to movies and music may impact mental health. So, it is vital to carefully consider media choices. When enjoyed responsibly, music and movies can empower young minds, fostering personal growth, empathy, and a deeper understanding of the world. However, when used recklessly, they can potentially desensitize young minds to corruption and violence and distract them from real-world responsibilities. Okay, guys, let's try to answer some questions. So, based on the reading, so good, 참고로 보면서, do, you, do music and movies have influence on young people? Yes or no? Number two, what kind of music is good for mental health? Is it positive music or negative music? And number three, how can lyrics sway people's moods and beliefs positively. Okay, they can foster personal growth, empathy and understanding, or they can make people violent and distracted. Which is it? 30초 드릴게요. Ready, set, go! Okay, there you go. So, of course, yes, music and movies have influence on young people. And if a positive music is good for mental health. Okay, and to influence people's moods and beliefs positively, lyrics can foster personal growth, empathy, and understanding. All right, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job. Don't forget to do your quiz. Okay, you got to do your quiz. And review this lesson before your class. Okay, everyone. See you in class. Bye-bye.